Hey guys, Jason here, and welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be doing the Plants vs. Zombies mod. It's really cool, it adds in night plants, day plants, zombies, and all sorts of stuff. So make sure you guys smack the like button. Let's try to go for 4,000 likes on this mod showcase. Um, I know we can do it, but I will see you guys in the video. Hey guys, here we are in our mod showcase world. We're back and we're ready to review mods in it. And um, here is all our mod stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with the Plants vs. Zombies mod. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is chlorophyll because chlorophyll is in plants and plants uh, need it to survive. So what we need to do is get one of, I think, six items. You can get chlorophyll from shrubs, from oak leaves, from seeds and from carrots and um, from potatoes and cacti so basically you can get your ingredients from those things by putting them into a crafting table and then you got yourself chlorophyll so what you're gonna need to do with the chlorophyll is craft up some pretty cool items so we got a pea pod which is crafted just like a cross of chlorophyll and you will get a pea pod which is uh, kinda funny to explain but it, it's, it's actually a weapon and you can throw it at people, but we'll get to that. The pea plants actually shoot them. And then we got our snow pod, which is crafted with chlorophyll and a piece of snowball, or a snowball, in the middle. And we got a shroom pod, which is the same thing with moonlight in the middle. And then the last chlorophyll item is the chlorophyll bowl, which is actually how you get that moonlight. We're about to find out in a second. Um, and you craft it just like this and you get your chlorophyll bowl. So you take that chlorophyll bowl and you set it out somewhere by a tree, somewhere outside where it can absorb the sun and basically collect sunlight and moonlight at nighttime. Uh, so that way you can use these in your ingredients to make your plants and a bunch of other stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with the plants and go to a greenhouse. So we got a greenhouse here. It's just a block. It's not an entire house or it doesn't really get to the size of a house, but it's just this block and you use this to pretty much make all of your plants. So um, what you're going to need to do first is put seeds in this first slot and sunlight in the top slot and it will start creating a plant. Um, while that's loading, I'm going to show you how to make some other stuff. We got a sunlight and a sp a pea pod, I think? Yeah, a pea pod, and that will make something different. Alright, let's go back to this one. So when there are plants grown in here, you will see a little sun above the greenhouse, indicating that it's pretty much done. So just take it out of there, and there you go, you got your, your plant. You can just plant it in uh, the ground, but actually not just any old ground. We'll get, we'll get to what ground you have to plant it in. But, moving on, we also made a pea shooter with that combination. And yeah, there's lots of other combinations. There's a bunch on the forums. I'm not going to go over all of them, but there is a whole bunch. So for example, we put a sun here. Uh, we put a pea pod here. And yes, it did. There it is. Okay, so we got that guy. And we can also, if you say want a double pea shooter, which is called the repeater in Plants vs. Zombies, uh, then put it in there and then also put another one down there and then put a sunlight and BAM it will come out as a repeater and then you can do the same thing for uh, a three peter which is crazy but um, yeah I just want you guys to experiment with that and check out the form yourself you can see how to make all the plants in this mod which we're about to go over right now so if I load in all my plants you will see that they all fit in my bottom inventory bar there aren't all the plants in the game unfortunately or the zombies but he plans to add more and this mod is still being made so it's gonna be great so I built a little demonstration area for you guys here it's really cool this is for the daytime uh, plants and we're gonna see we're gonna test their strengths basically uh, against zombies so inside this dispenser I've loaded up all types of zombies including the new kinds of zombies which I guess I'll cover first so we got the football zombie which oh which pretty much walks around and he gets protected from burning actually in daytime because of his football gear 
So basically watch out for these guys. They'll, they'll probably be walking around during the night and the daytime. So just be super careful and kill them, I guess. I, if I had a sword, I'd, I'd do so right now. So I'm going to go ahead and get a sword. I'm going to kill him. He's got 20 health. He's pretty strengthy. And he drops a helmet, it looked like. And the helmet is a football helmet. Go ahead and put that football helmet on and you look great. Okay, so no, moving on. He drops other pieces of football armor too, and you can put it on, but we'll, we'll go over the armor in a second. Okay, so we got another zombie. It's called the Flag Zombie. He doesn't do anything. He just holds a, a flag. The flag doesn't really mean anything. It's just kind of the like the Flag Zombie in Plants vs. Zombies, so I guess it's tradition. So I'm going to go ahead and... Oh. <laughs> he came to the wrong neighborhood. Uh, just right there. That's that was that was crazy. All right, we're gonna go check out that area a little later. But um, yes, now it's time to show you guys the explorer zombie. Oh wow, it's a little baby explorer zombie. Well, let him go die off over there. Okay, so anyways, this is an explorer zombie. He holds a torch and he's got armor on and doesn't burn during the day either. And he drops rotten flesh just like a normal zombie. And I don't know if he drops anything else. Uh, but it might say on the website. Okay, so inside here we've got the sunflower plants. And what they do is basically uh, they generate sunlight for you because that's they're good guys. So always have them in your army, but keep them close by. They're real great. So in order to plant any of the plants that you created using the greenhouse, you have to shoot sunlight that is gathered in your chlorophyll bowl at grass so basically if you see if I right click uh, it will turn regular grass into basically what's called endowed grass um, endowed grass means you can plant plant these plants versus zombie plants there and then the same goes for nighttime plants except you shoot moonlight at grass but anyways moving on we're gonna go ahead and place our first plant and that is our pea shooter we're gonna place him right here he's the basic plant he looks just like this and we're gonna go out here and spawn a zombie so when we spawn in a zombie it's just a flag zombie uh, you can see that the pea shooter actually takes I think five between five and seven damage uh, so he's awesome and he's also slow so uh, you're gonna need a bunch of those in order to take down probably a, a zombie or two in order to um, you know protect your house anyways so now we're gonna try the repeater the repeater looks just like this he's awesome he shoots two peas and yeah we're gonna go out here and right click this and a zombie will spawn in as you can see he shoots faster and his attacks are usually more powerful <laughs> I love how he looked at me right in the end um, no but yeah he's he's pretty powerful a bunch of those will do you good as well so um, I'm gonna go ahead and place down a three Peter and this is three heads so three heads are better than one and two for that matter so watch him destroy the zombie completely by shooting three peas at him at a time and as you can see it's like a spread so this that works a lot better with multiple targets but unfortunately um, I was just having him kill that one zombie so yeah but they do their normal peas I think they do five to seven damage he just actually um, shoots faster and has three peas so he's pretty cool. Um, they all have two health, I think, so they're all pretty weak. So if zombies or anything gets up close, they die pretty fast. Okay, so the last daytime plant I have for you here is the snow pea. And whenever we place it down um, and spawn in a zombie, you will see that the snow pea has the oh god this isn't gonna work snow pea you gotta move back a block alright um I'm gonna go ahead and get another snow pea cause I just killed it uh but anyways yes you can see that the snow pea will slow down enemies whenever it shoots them and they'll get little particle effects hold on let me see if I can just destroy this for the zombie alright zombie you're free well, he was supposed to fight. He was supposed to fight that um, that guy, but spawning a new one. He's running away. He can't get hit. He can get hit. So as you can see, he slowed the football zombie 
like to the point where he can't even get inside and that's like a super good thing you need these guys so that way a ton of mobs don't get to your house too fast so a bunch of these guys definitely would help so that's all the daytime plants we're actually gonna go over here and check out the nighttime plants and this side isn't properly set up yet so I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and I will cut back in a second okay we're back and it's nighttime and I've also moonlit our grass so I think we're good to fight these zombies and if we go over here and we press oh we don't have a button hmm probably need one of those okay there we go I'm gonna put it down on the dispenser and we're gonna press it okay there he is moonshroom plants kill him kill him ooh kill him no, nah, never mind. JK, I, these guys don't do anything. They just generate moonlight for you, which is a good thing. These guys are these guys are just normal guys. They're like this they're the sunflower guys, but they're for plants. So they're really great and very useful. So we're gonna go ahead and spawn in a puff shroom plant, and he's gonna take care of business for us. So he's basically the pea shooter, except he's um the nighttime version. And these little guys are actually twice as strong at nighttime, so be sure to use them only at night and sur surround your house with them as well on top of surrounding them, uh, your house with regular plants because uh, these regular plants freaking also rock a lot. So, so because these guys are strong at night and because these guys are strong during the day, you might have to tactically uh, place them a certain way in order to... Um, keep your house pretty safe because as you can see um, monsters are making their way over here and they're not even getting to this villager unfortunately this creeper is because I guess plants don't like to fight creepers at least on the version I'm on or something I don't know if that's a, a glitch or maybe they just don't shoot at creepers because they blow up um, which is actually a good thing because I wouldn't want them to shoot at a creeper and not kill it and then it blow up a part of my house so that, that may be a good thing but I honestly think there should be a plant that only kills creepers and it kills them in one shot so I, I would think that'd be really cool um, what's up Dylan how you doing what's up he's coming into the mod well he just wanted to say hi alright well you have a great day um, okay anyways moving on uh, we're gonna go ahead and show you guys the next plant the puff shroom plant was pretty cool he shoots uh, the shroom pods that we were talking about earlier that we made or that we talked about anyways we're gonna go ahead and plant down the next plant it is called the scaredy shroom plant and he's long and skinny look at him he's funny looking and they kill zombies pretty much twice as fast as the as the other mushroom plant uh, because he is like the repeater and he is twice as fast so pretty self-explanatory he's gonna take down that football zombie eventually oh oh he escaped I gotta kill him of some okay Never mind, dude. You can't be escaping. Okay, next plant. All right, we're going to be spawning in what's called the fume shroom plant. And this guy's crazy. So he... Oh, what the heck was that? Is that skeleton shooting my plants? Come on, man. These are my freaking mushrooms. Don't shoot them. They're, they're my friends. Get out of here. All right. We can't be having skeletons shooting our plants all the time. All right, so we got this big old shroom guy. He's a fume shroom. And we're going to spawn in another zombie, whichever kind it may be. It's a flag zombie. And as you can see, the fume shroom just explodes out um, those awesome shroom pods and freaking just takes down zombies pretty easy. So <laughs> that's very useful. And he is um, the triple, he's pretty much the triple guy. So, uh, but yeah, that's all the plants for nighttime. And now I'm going to show you guys what I created over here in the middle. Uh, before we go. So it looks like all our, our freaking, all my plants died. D dang it. Dang it. I'll just give you the right idea. Because, like, at least this side is, you know, intact. So I'm going to go ahead and get a zombie here. I'm going to get the football one because he's the strongest. And he's going to go towards the villager, as you can see. But he just can't make it. He, he, he just can't make it to the center because my plants are just too strong. So, as you can see, if you do end up getting enough plants, it shouldn't be difficult at all to protect any given area. The only thing is, pretty much when any hostile mob touches any plants, they die, like, instantly. So, just be super careful of who's in your area and 
Um, your plants should take care of the rest, but at this point, you should have a awesome protected house um, by official plants versus zombie plants. So I think that's really awesome. I hope you guys did enjoy the mod. I enjoyed it. I'm going to play it a little later for fun. But yeah, guys, uh, that was it for the mod. Make sure you smack that like button and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft content. I will talk to you stars later. And see you guys.